What's up guys, Universal Mastery. So what I do on my channel is I break down the occult sciences to a very practical level so that you can take it and you can apply it in your day-to-day -day life and get real, actual results. So what we're gonna be talking about in today's video is a talk with Moloch. Stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing that I want to say is go and check out my Patreon. On my Patreon, I have an exclusive video that is uploading weekly that will not be on my YouTube channel. And right now, there is a very essential video that's on there that's exactly how to do an invocation of a spirit of your choice. And I have a step-by-step -step breakdown video of exactly how to do that. So in order to gain access to these exclusive videos, you have to be a tier two or up. In order to be a tier two, it is $9.95 a month, which literally calculates to less than a dollar a day. So there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to afford that. And what you're also gonna get is the ability to conversate with me whenever you want with whatever questions you have about the occult. So to find the Patreon, you're gonna go to, to the description of this video, and it's gonna be the first link at the top. And I wanna give a special shout out to the top tier members already. Their names will be mentioned right below that link. So other than that, I'm going right into the video. So this video is called A Talk with Moloch. Um, I recently uploaded a video called A Talk with Satan, um, and I thought it would only be right if I did a talk with Moloch to correlate with that video. So mainly because <clears throat> There's a similarity between Moloch and Satan in regards to the sphere of Themael, which for those of you that didn't watch the Satan video is the reverse tree of life. It is the final sphere where you essentially transform into the, the phoenix. You, you rise as a, literal in, uh, as a literal embodiment of your higher self and you cross through the abyss. You're now on, in, in the void where Lucifer's throne is and you have your own place there, your own your own paradise, your own throne, essentially. Um, and you see the world for what it truly is, and it gives you a lot of empowerment, it gives you a lot of mastery over everything. So, when it comes to Moloch specifically, he resides in Thamael with Satan, and so far, okay, so, so let me go into how Moloch will manifest. So the way that I will see Moloch manifest, and a very common way that Moloch will manifest to most people, is going to be a very jacked, a very strong figure. Sometimes he will manifest as like a man, it'll be like a man's body, like a very strong man's body, with the head of an ox, or with the head of a bull, or even sometimes like with the head of a cow very very similar to what those would look like like that that ox looking head that minotaur type of person so sometimes he will manifest with a humanoid body and sometimes he'll manifest as the whole minotaur meaning it's like it's like a jacked uh bull standing on two legs but but with a human looking body uh but not in, like human shaped but but like skin wise as the bull so I hope you get what I'm saying there. But he'll have those big horns, that's very significant. And for me, he'll manifest also with this like, kind of like this golden yellowish glow around him. And he'll have he'll have a weapon, he'll always have a weapon. Um, right now that I'm thinking about it, yeah, it's like, for me, it's it's kind of like, like an ax, like a big ax. Um, kind of like, almost like something you would see out of Narnia, the movie Narnia. Okay, like those minotaurs, very similar to that. Um, but yeah, that's how, he, how he'll manifest. And a lot of the correlation um, between him having that yellow, yellowish, goldish um, aura around him and presence around him is in relation to the planet planets that he's connected to. So he has a lot of influence over the energy of the sun which correlates to the ego, which correlates to the sense of self, which which has a lot of connections to your confidence, has a lot of connections to light, clarity, 
um, clarity of the self, clarity of where it is that you want to move in life, clarity of what's going on around you, awareness, those kinds of things. Um, so he, so with that being said, he is a solar deity, and with with solar deities, they are they are very geared towards healing because that energy of sense of clarity, sense of self. Um, naturally is a healing type of energy because it makes you feel good. Um, it's confidence, um, fearlessness, things in that nature. So he's correlated to the sun and the black sun. The black sun you could imagine, for those of you that don't know what the black sun is, the black sun you could imagine is, so you saw how I made those connections with the sense of self, you know, clarity, um, knowing. The black sun would be like the knowing of what you don't know the clarity of what's not clear do you get what i'm saying so like something that is behind like that you know obviously our as the beings we are we have a subconscious and an unconscious mind conscious is what we're aware of that would be the sun the conscious is like okay i get this this is what we're doing consciously being aware the unconscious would be the black sun essentially the unconscious and subconscious would have a lot more to do with the black sun because you don't know it but you know that you don't know it, okay? That's what the black sun, that's that energy of the black sun. You know what you don't know. Oh, I, I have no problem telling you I don't know that. That would be the essence of the black sun. It's being able to be aware that you don't know something, okay? I know I don't know this. And when you when you, when you you will start to realize if, if you're the, because there's a lot of people in, in our society today that like to act like they know everything. They like to project like they know when they don't know and what that does is that energetically and spiritually shuts you off from learning about that thing that you don't know because you're trying to you're trying to prove to somebody that most likely doesn't have any like significance in your life that you're smart and that you know what you're talking about when in reality you have no idea and you're too you could say too afraid to admit that you don't know and when it comes to beings like Moloch for a great example He's gonna look at you like you fucking dumb piece of shit. Don't like, don't act like you know something that you don't know. Um, in the sense of like, if this is a common pattern. Now there are times in your life where it's good to be confident and it's good to act like you know something when you don't know it. But if it came to the point where someone's like, "Do you really know what you're talking about?" Be fucking honest, okay? Because it's gonna be for your own good. So that is the energy of the Black Sun and Moloch. Is also attributed to that as well um, so be honest <laughs> that's the main point you'll grow a lot more if you're honest once again these spirits like Moloch they, they're not gonna help you if you can't be honest okay if you don't know something you don't know something that's the first step to becoming able to know something that you don't know <laughs> kind of a tongue twister but you get what I'm saying so yeah, so he'll manifest in that way with that type of energy. And I, from what I recently made a connection of why he is, uh, why he's so important when it comes to the final sphere of Themael is because for those of you that don't know, Themael is geared towards the energies of Neptune and Pluto, Pluto being, Pluto having everything to do with death, um, and setting you up for rebirth. And then Neptune having everything to do with uh, dissolving, dissolution, lucidity, dream, subconscious, flow, very, very lucid, uh, submission, okay? So I feel like a big part, and this is what I received, and, and you know, I, I definitely know my Gnosis is valid, a big part of why Moloch is attributed to Themael is because he brings you that sense of self in that dissolution. So the dissolution is so powerful in, in uh, Thamiel, in that final sphere where, where it refines you and sets you up to become the Phoenix, that a lot of people could potentially go insane. A lot of people uh, could doubt what they've done and, and go down a bad path and go down a bad direction because it, it's intense. Like for those of you that don't know what dissolution is like, that neptunian energy it's it's literally like you wake up and there is like you have 20 feet around you and you can imagine this 20 feet around you and it's all fog but within that 20 feet things are, are clear clear enough for you to operate and do what you got to do but everything else is fog and you cannot see anything else 
So with that being said, that would create a lot of anxiety and fear and doubt for a lot of people because they're like, I can't see anything. Where am I going? Where am I supposed to go? I don't understand this. Why do I feel like this? Um, so Moloch being attributed to the sun and the black sun produces an essence of once again, coming from the black sun. Oh, I get what's going on here. I get this is teaching me and refining me. This is something that I don't know, but it's okay that I don't know. As long as I know that I don't know, it's okay. And then with the essence that he brings to the table of the sun, then it's like, okay, I have confidence. I have the clear knowing that this is transforming me. This is making me more powerful. This is this is gearing me and, 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 and moving me in the direction that I need to move. I just need to be patient and work through it and be as healthy as I can while I work through it. I have confidence that I will come out of this eventually. And that's, I think, a big portion of what Moloch has to offer. Now I can also go into a little bit more um, for you warriors out there, you also like this. Moloch definitely can bring that warrior side to the table. So while you're going through this this final transformation of dissolution or um, you feel a little bit lost, he can also bring that, that kind of like warrior energy to you. Um, as I said, he, he will often manifest with a big weapon in his hand. And I just, whenever I, whenever I think of him, I, I get this presence of like warriorhood. Like he's just as, you don't fuck with him. He's a powerful warrior. He's more than just a warrior, but he brings that that essence of a warrior too. Um, so he can give you a sense of like boundaries when you're in a state of feeling like you don't have boundaries. Do you get what I'm saying? So like obviously with what I said, being in the sphere of Thamiel, the Neptunian energy is dissolution. So when, you, when, you're, when you're in a state of dissolution, you feel like you don't have boundaries. It's hard to be almost like, it's, it almost feels like it's hard to, you don't really have an ego right like when you're going through dissolution you don't have that ability that you feel like you normally have and can tap into at will it's dissolved because it's showing you more of your spirit it's showing you more of when you do let go things are still going to be okay but you got to you got to calm yourself down you got to realize it, it's really a, a very meditative type of state it is really an empowering type of state because you're surrendering to your power that you can't even see Okay? I'm relying on the spirits to protect me. I'm relying on my own higher self to guide me. I'm relying on things that I can't necessarily see. I mean, I've attuned myself pretty well to be able to, to see spirits, to be able to see what I'm working with. But like to be completely honest, like physically, it's not like they just appear. Like It takes mental strength to imagine that. And when you get caught up in your day-to-day -day routines and when you're working and things of that nature, you don't have time to always be envisioning things or visualizing. Sometimes you gotta be, so you gotta just rely on what your own power is and, and your own essence of character and being and, and soul. And that's the whole point of dissolution through that Neptunian energy in the sphere of Thamayel. And uh, uh, Moloch can give you a boundary. He can give you a sense of boundary. So if someone does try to take advantage of you or is kind of pushing that barrier a little too far while you're in the state of dissolution, you may get a sense or a feeling, a presence like, hey, chill out. Like you, you don't mind speaking your mind even though you feel like your ego just isn't there. It's a very natural, a very primal, like when you, set, when you sense that someone's pushing too far, you will know it. And he'll give you that sense where it's like, even though I feel like I have no ego and I have no boundaries, I'm about to draw a fucking boundary right here. And if you continue to push on that boundary, I will fight you. Like I will literally, I will go to war. And that's that's the essence of what he brings. And that's that is very important because that strengthens even in the state of not having boundaries, in the state of not having an ego, not feeling like a warrior, he can make you feel like that. And then that shows you that everything truly is spirit. Everything truly is from that that deep core of spirit and soul. Um, and then obviously once you come out of that and then your ego starts to reform itself around your new spiritual understanding and your spiritual knowing, your ego is going to be a lot more, it's going to be a lot different. It's going to be a lot more geared towards what you've noticed on the inside. If that makes sense, if you understand what I'm saying, it's going to be a lot more geared towards your soul and your true purpose, the true reason why you're here, because you spent all that time getting in tune and getting in touch with yourself and even connecting with people 
on that level. So once your ego forms itself again, which is the rising of the phoenix, because the ego is not a bad thing, it's just a filter that needs to be refined to align to the things that you want to do and become. And the more that you can align your ego with your spirit, the more they will eventually start to mesh together and they will evolve in unity. And that's when you reach liberation and apotheosis, um, which is literally when you become your walking higher self, where you become your, your own daemon. Your daemon is literally, you are that. And that's a very profound moment in magic, uh, if you are a practitioner. So, wow, I'm sharing a lot of good stuff on this video. So that that is uh, one of the essences, very powerful essences of what Moloch brings to the table is that, you know, that sense of self when you feel like you have no self and that sense of boundary when you feel like you have no boundary to protect you. And he absolutely will protect you. Um, and this is also another correlation that I got out of it. So I was doing a little bit of research on Moloch and I figured out that he has some connections to the Senator uh, or the Minotaur, whatever you want to call it, uh, in mythology. And, you know, for those of you that know, the Minotaur was known to be in the maze. Um, I'm forgetting what, how long ago and what exact pantheon it was, but most of you will understand this. There is that, you know that maze, right? The maze where there's the Minotaur with the weapon that's looking for the person to kill them and they have to like run around and, and get away and find their way out or whatever. So I connected a lot of symbolism to that maze and to that Minotaur being Moloch. So, and it's all connecting to the sphere of Thamiel because when you're in Thamiel, it almost feels like you're lost in that maze because there's so much dissolution but Moloch isn't there to kill you, <laughs> he's not there to attack you, that's where the mythology is a little twisted, but he's there to guide you, he's there to help you, okay? He's there to help you get through that maze and, and just have patience so that you can get to the other side. So that was another connection that I made. Um, yeah, um, so working with Moloch, um, I've, gotten, I've gotten great results. I definitely think he's a he's a great spirit to work with. There is once again, it's very similar to Satan. You're not gonna he's not he's not your typical demon. He's not a spirit that you're just gonna call on to ask for something and then expect it to happen and then you're done. He's a higher he's a, you could say he's a higher spirit, meaning. He's he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a much more powerful spirit when it comes to the hierarchies. He's much higher up, and he respects those that improve themselves. He expect the he he respects those, works with those, protects those, empowers those that empower themselves, that work on self development, that choose to move in a direction that's going to be best for their own life, and then. Real, I mean, once again, these higher spirits, they really protect those. They really watch over those. They really empower those that have that, that realize that their purpose is connected to helping humanity evolve at the same time. So Moloch will also really protect you, really empower you, really guide you down a path where yes, he's gonna empower yourself, he's gonna make sure that you know how to reach your highest level of self-development, but then leads you down a path where you can potentially teach others how to do the same thing. And especially if you're gonna be doing it through uh, the, 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 the path of magic and black magic. So for example, later down the road, you guys will see, I'm gonna start teaching people how to initiate through the tree of life through the tree of death, the Sephiroth, the Klipoth, I'm gonna be guiding people on how to do that. Not now, because I'm still going through it myself, but once I come out of this, then I will be teaching people how to do that. And that's gonna, that's gonna be, that's, I mean, that's like plugging, plugging the uh, cord right into the socket. That's where evolution is. That's where alchemical transformation truly is. Um, so the spirits that, the, the, the infernal divine, the most primordial spirits, they really want people to take that, that path of initiation. They really want people to develop on that level because that is what development is. It comes from the tree. That's, we have all the spheres in us. We have all the planetary energies in us. We just need to access them. We need to reconnect with them. We need to c 
communicate with the spirits that that reside with those energies and can and can guide us through those energies and can even bestow those energies on us to help us move in, in in the direction that we need to move okay so you know with that being said it's you know that's that's what's going to get you the most benefit out of anything you do in life is when you do something that revolves around that that sort of uh empowerment that sort of self-development especially as i'm saying connecting right into the tree where you're going to get the rawest most core foundation of that spiritual development um so yeah so take that for what it's worth other than that oh and then i also want to mention there's also another way that moloch can manifest and that's going to be as the owl okay the owl um so you may notice that on our dollar bill there is a small owl if you don't know you can look it up on google or you can look it up on youtube there is a small owl that is on the dollar bill it's kind of like hidden uh and i believe it's next to the eye um so moloch does have a massive influence as a lot of these i mean most of these infernal infernal spirits do but moloch definitely has a very known profound influence over our society and over our government as well um when you when you when you i mean when you see that owl that is a symbolized uh way that he's coming through um and also when it comes to the bohemian grove which is what a lot of people think is what the illuminati goes to and all that stuff um not not necessarily not essentially but uh they at the bohemian grove it's it's specifically for the elite members Pretty much for elites right it's for the higher up members in the government for celebrities for people that have uh huge corporations you pretty much got to make a lot of money and be successful to to go in there uh, or to attend the bohemian grove but there uh they have a statue of a big owl and that statue represents moloch so a lot of the celebrities a lot of the elites that are involved in that level of black magic they are working with moloch as well um, so it just goes to show, you know, not all these celebrities, not all these rich people, not all these elites are doing bad things. They're just simply strengthening their connection with Moloch. Then there are people like Epstein that had an altar of Moloch as well, uh, and he's doing terrible things. So it all depends. Um, but other than that, I'm going to leave it here. Definitely hit the thumbs up, hit the like, or hit the like, thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, notification bell. I'm posting videos as often as I can. Go to the first link at the top that's going to take you to my Patreon, the link below that, Streamlabs merch, the third link, the Facebook community, request to join the private group on the Facebook community, I will add you in. I hope you guys have a great rest of the night wherever you are, and I will see you on the next video. Peace.